Welcome back to Creature Files. On this episode, we'll take a journey to a time long before dinosaurs, to when giant insects ruled the world, and one of the largest was Meganeura. Meganeura means large nerved, referring to the network of veins on the insect's wings, and was a massive griffin fly, ancient ancestors of modern dragonflies. Meganeura lived during the late Carboniferous period of the Paleozoic era, approximately 305 to 299 million years ago, in what is now France. With a wingspan of over 75 centimetres, this incredible insect was as big as an eagle, and reigned supreme over their Carboniferous canopy. Insects like Meganeura were some of the first creatures to take to the wing long before the first flying reptiles or birds evolved, and as such, these remarkable animals had no natural predators. Able to hunt over massive distances, they were the kings of the skies. Meganeura was a predator and would have had a wide variety of prey to choose from, including other insects, as well as small amphibians and primitive reptiles that were only beginning to colonise the land. There are several debates as to how the insects of the Carboniferous grew so large. The most commonly accepted theory, however, is based on the atmospheric oxygen levels at the time. During the Carboniferous, oxygen levels were up to 30% higher than they are today. This increase in oxygen was caused by the formation of the first great forests across the globe which absorbed massive amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and produced oxygen at an incredible rate. Arthropods, including insects and crustaceans, don't breathe as we do, by forcing oxygen into their lungs. Instead, they absorb the oxygen from their surroundings directly through their skin. This system is far less efficient than the lungs of most other creatures and greatly limits the size in which insects can grow. However, the increased oxygen level in Meganeura's environment would have allowed it, as well as the other arthropods it shared its habitat with, to process oxygen more efficiently and freed up room in their bodies for growth. The lack of other aerial predators would have also aided these monsters becoming so large. The Carboniferous period was the golden age for arthropods, and many different species were able to reach incredible sizes and dominate the earth. Unfortunately, this oxygen-rich Eden they thrived in was doomed, as many of the Earth's continents began to come together to form the supercontinent Pangaea, the climate cooled and dried, causing the collapse of many of the tropical rainforests worldwide. This caused a dramatic drop in oxygen levels, which meant the giant insects could no longer maintain their great size, resulting in smaller forms evolving, or the outright extinction of many large arthropod groups. Never again would insects get so large. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also find Creature Files on Facebook at facebook.com slash creaturefiles. See you next time on Creature Files.